Hi everyone. <clears throat> Have you ever noticed that the way you think about a situation can make it better or worse? Or what do I mean by that? Let me share a story to, to explain what I mean. One day, not that long ago, I went to go visit my mom. And I tend to pride myself on being organized and getting things done and keeping to a schedule. And on this day, I went to go visit my mom, which was part of my organized scheduled day. And we were having a nice conversation. And all of a sudden she said to me, when you have a chance, do you think you could go to Costco and get me some more pistachios? Now, in response to that question, I started thinking, oh my God, that won't fit into my schedule. Who does she think she is asking me to do one more thing? And I got really overwhelmed and upset and I sort of lashed out at her and the conversation and the visit suddenly turned out to be a bit negative. Now, it certainly wasn't the question that she posed to me that triggered my re response. It was what I made that question mean and how it fit into my own personal story. If somebody else had been there, like my sister, or an objective bystander, they would have clearly seen that I was the crazy one in that situation. So, has something like this happened to you? How do you react in certain situations, like when somebody leaves dishes in the kitchen sink, or um, when a child falls at the playground, or when a patient walks in late to the office? Can you see how your reactions are not a result of the circumstance itself, but about your thinking of what the circumstance means? How else could you explain a mother? You could have two mothers, the exact same mothers with the child who's falling on the playground, and one generates thoughts of fear of an accident and starts chasing the kid around and not letting them fall again, and the other one brushes the kid off and lets them run off and, and play again. It's not the fall that created the mother's response, it's what she's making that fall mean. Now, many circumstances in life are not changeable, right? We know we all can't, we can't control the weather, but it's how you'll respond to that weather that will make the difference. Um, so we often think that we are the victim of circumstance in our lives. And what I'm saying is that we're not a victim of circumstance. What we are a victim of is your thoughts. No matter where you are or what you're faced with, you have the power to make it better or worse based on how you think about it. And that's actually good news because that means that you can actually have some positive impact on your life right now simply by changing your thoughts. So how do we do that? First, you need to take ownership of the issue. Are you easily annoyed? Are you easily overwhelmed? Um, do you react to people? Uh, do you feel like you're constantly a victim of circumstance? If so, acknowledge that you are doing this to yourself so stop blaming the world once you recognize this pattern you could start taking a good look at your thoughts <clears throat> we all have a running dialogue in our heads it's constant look at it recognize your thoughts you are not your thoughts don't identify with your thoughts write them down sometimes it really helps to write them down so you can get some distance from your thoughts. Recognize then what feelings your thoughts are creating and what action you start to take because of those feelings. You don't need to even change your thoughts. Sometimes just by recognizing this pattern, you're able to develop an awareness and actually have a, an impact just by recognizing it. In the pistachio incident, my mother's request created a flurry of thoughts in my mind. I felt overwhelmed and then I got really snarky and rude to my mother. As soon as I recognized this pattern, I was able to pause, take a deep breath. I was able to then take that deep breath, apologize to my mother for the way I reacted and reset the conversation and the rest of our day. And while our brains generate these thoughts automatically, but we get to choose which ones we want to focus on. 
whatever we focus on grows. So it's up to us to choose that focus. Our brains are generating these automatic thoughts in order to protect us and keep us safe in the world. We get to choose what to do with this, but have compassion for yourself because oftentimes when you start recognizing the thoughts that you're generating, you start beating yourself up over those thoughts and that's not helpful. You will sometimes fall victim to your thoughts and recognize that it's normal and that you can just start working towards it and doing better each time. It can be difficult sometimes uh, to see clearly from within the swirl of your own thoughts and your own brain. And so sometimes you also get completely um, identified with the story you're telling yourself and you see everything in your head as a true fact. It can be helpful to have somebody else reflect your thoughts back to you. So if you want to work on that with someone on the outside reflecting your thoughts back, I would really truly love to help you with that. Simply schedule a 30 minute coaching session with me by using the link below. You can come with a situation that you feel you could have handled better, an emotion that you're struggling with, uh, a goal that you're working on, whatever it is, I will be happy to work through it, help you work through it. Our thoughts are incredibly powerful. Let's harness that power for good. Thank you so much and have a great day.